In this video, we are going to discuss the most basic underlying principle of therapy. Calm shit down, build shit up, coupled with the water cup analogy. Enroll in our online course now. Link is in the video description. Hi and welcome to PhysioTutors. A couple of years ago, Greg Lehman came up with a Twitter post saying, treatment in a crude nutshell is calm shit down, build shit up. We find that this is a great way to simplify and classify different treatment options we have for the patient in front of us. To further explain the whole picture of this concept, let's introduce another analogy, which is the cup theory. Every patient has a cup that is filled with different biopsychosocial stressors such as stress, tissue damage, poor sleep, worry, fear, anxiety, habits, and so on. The cup metaphor suggests that pain occurs when all of the stresses or loads in our lives exceed the space in our cup. When we overflow, we have pain. As patients and as their therapists, we are left with two different options. One, to decrease some of the stresses and loads that are in the cup to calm shit down, or two, to build a bigger cup or to build shit up. The cup analogy is essentially saying that we have pain when we don't adapt positively to stresses in our life. It also recognizes that stresses are more than just a physical load you put your body through, but also that depression, fear, past history, etc. can all be in your cup. Be aware that the stresses in the cup are not inherently bad as they can help us to tolerate more, to cope better and to build resiliency when we are gradually exposed to them. The beautiful thing about this analogy is that it illustrates that different approaches can help our patient to change. A great option is to ask the patient which factor he or she thinks is contributing to his situation the most and which one he or she is able to change. Now let's look at a couple of options that we can use to decrease stresses in the cup or in other words, to calm shit down. This can be advice and reassurance, to avoid aggravating activities or to change the way these activities are performed. It could be medication such as ibuprofen, for example. It can be different thoughts of manual therapy applications, but also isometric exercises, for example. One more word about fixing biomechanical variables in the cup. A lot of things like the transverse abdominis, timing, knee valgus, disc herniation, scapular dyskinesis and so on cannot be fixed. The literature generally doesn't show that we are very good at changing biomechanics. Those movement faults can exist and be associated with pain, but following treatment, pain can be gone, function resolved and those factors still exist. The same is true for a lot of psychosocial factors. Okay, so what can we do to build a bigger cup? A good starting point might be to ask a patient how he or she can be healthier. Options can range from building positive beliefs and mood to improved coping, better food choices and sleep hygiene to gradual physical loading. As a physiotherapist, our go-to build shit up option is exercise. A general rule of thumb is that an issue that is of rather local nociceptive nature will probably need a more targeted local loading. For example, a patient with Achilles tendinopathy will probably benefit the most from calf raises compared to cycling. On the other hand, issues that are more of a general nature, such as the rather chronic conditions, open up the possibilities of a more general exercise approach. So in the future, you can ask yourself, or better, Ask your patient which factors might be in his or her cup. Then design a plan to calm shit down by decreasing stresses in his cup. Even better, help your patient to create a bigger cup so he or she develops a resilience against current and future life stresses. Right, this concludes our video on calm shit down, build shit up and the water cup analogy. Let us know if you enjoy these kinds of video by a like or drop us a comment down below. And if you want to improve your assessment or clinical reasoning skills, 
check out our assessment ebook, mobile app, or our online course on orthopedic physiotherapy of the upper and lower extremities. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.